A murder mystery, the search for the person who mutilated a woman in Brooklyn. Police tell us what appears to be a leg was found wrapped up in Cypress Hills on Jamaica Avenue near Vermont Street. Tonight, a two-time convicted killer charged with murdering again. You know, this is a gruesome and barbaric homicide which resulted in a headless torso being disposed of on a New York City corner. And it takes a serial killer off our street. So I'd like to draw your attention to February 27th at approximately 1140 hours. We observed our victim enter 50 Pennsylvania Avenue with the same shopping cart she was later found dead inside. She is later identified as Susan Yeldon female, white, 68 years old. She resides at a senior home for the LGBTQ plus community in Fort Greene. According to persons known to us, she has lived there for eight months and is an activist and supporter of these causes. I love this place, you know, and it's so hard, you know, heartbreaking to hear this kind of news. On March 1st, our perpetrator, Miss Harvey, and another unknown female enter Home Depot in Manhattan. They purchase a sawzall, trash bags, and cleaning solutions, and both individuals return to Pennsylvania Avenue. The next day, Miss Harvey is observed walking to the intersection of Atlantic and Pennsylvania, leaving our shopping cart behind. Approximately six hours later, a male observes the cart and calls 911. Upon arrival, they observed a black plastic bag inside a gray bag in a shopping cart. Inside that black bag was a torso of a human body. On March 3rd in the early afternoon, detectives arrive at 50 Pennsylvania Avenue and receive information our person of interest is on the third floor. In apartment 3DD, they observe blood splatter and several trash bags. The next day, March 4th, detectives executed the search warrant at that location where recover human body parts inside. On March 7th, a human leg is recovered on Jamaica Avenue. I'd like to show you the video of Miss Harvey in a store. She's, she gets up out of the wheelchair there and the leg is right there on the seat. It the same type of plastic bag that we recovered at the scene. And as you saw in the video, it was behind the lower back, riding around the 99 cent store. So yeah, she had it with her. Investigation into this incident led detectives from the 75 precinct and Brooklyn North homicide to gather evidence which led to a grand jury indictment of a Harvey Marcelin, aka Marceline Harvey, who is on lifetime parole for manslaughter and whom resides at 50 Pennsylvania Avenue, apartment 3D. Her record includes five previous arrests in September 1957 for a felony assault, in May of 1962 for booking, in March of 63 for a rape, in April of 63 for a homicide up in Harlem where a shot and killed a female. For this offense, she received a sentence of 20 years to life and was released in May of 1984 to lifetime parole. And the final arrest in November of 85 in Central Park, a homicide where the victim was stabbed and cut up and the female dumped in body bags. I just want to draw your attention to our old detective bureau logs that we keep up in uh, the bureau. And if you look at the notes on the side, all the way over to the right, it says cut up to pieces. This is just the latest of a list of heinous offenses conducted over a period of a lifetime by Miss Harvey. And we can only hope that she can do no more.